Today, I have a faith practice because of someone I love. To begin my faith practice, I might have to go back in time to my late mother, who openly has provided for her children all her life comments about God, scriptures that she remembers, and just little quips about angels that help us to find shit when we can't find it. And openly, she's not even Catholic, but she would remember these rhymes from her friends and share them with us over time. What I can tell you about my mother is that she loved her children, and what I can tell you about her is that she was very wise about God, having studied the Bible her whole adult life. My sadness for her is during the late stages of life that she did not continue in her pursuit of the Lord with the help of siblings who should have been reading to her every day the Word. Now, having said that, I can then move myself forward to college, in which I met a woman in my church who absolutely fell in love with me and became my college girlfriend. She helped move my life closer to God, and she did so in a lot of ways, not only in our intimacy of relationship, but in our discussions on spirituality and faith, and she was my first Catholic friend, and I valued her for that. We traveled a bit together, and we had a good time. In the next stage of my life, I moved myself overseas. And having moved myself overseas, I was then impacted by Japanese concepts of faith. And I learned about Buddhism, I learned about Shintoism, and I learned about other aspects, esoteric aspects of the history of Japan and their diversion and their version of the goddess Amaterasu, who literally is the originator of Japan, the mother of Japan. You see, Japanese history is based on a matriarch not a patriarch. And that sort of impacted me. And I love the celebrations of our family's faith, our bicultural family's faith, and my Japanese spouse did that for me. When we came to America, we practiced something else. We practiced a version of Christianity. And so my son and my wife became Christian Buddhists or Buddhist Christians, and I'm okay with that. But when we lived in Japan, I think I've shared before, we practiced the three versions of our faith. We practiced Christianity during the holidays that are associated with that and any other American type of holiday. We also practice uh, Buddhism at New Year's Eve and Shintoism on New Year's Day. It's one of my best memories with my spouse and significant other and even my son were on those days. In life we have moments of time to move our steps forward and I sort of lost my interest in God after a while but not entirely. The next woman that stepped into my life did come into my life, the next two actually, based on profound prayer. And it's because of the love of that woman that I have a faith cloud practice. She moved my heart, she moved my soul, she moved my mind, she taught me so much over the course of a period of two years' time, and I openly have never been the same. My faith cloud practice came totally from her caring for me and sharing with me something I didn't understand about an event she went to with one of her girlfriends, someone I wasn't really crazy about in the business world, but it doesn't matter. What matters is what came out of that relationship, a deep and profound friendship in which she called me all the time. But the tool she showed me has become my protector, and not my savior, but a part of my worship of the Lord's savior in heaven. And that is why Faith Fridays is so essential. You see, Faith Fridays allows you to wrap up your week saying thank you to God for the things that went well and praising His name, Her name, however you choose to associate Lord God, the Mother and Father of all heaven and earth, and openly you have the right to praise the name of the Lord. And in my Faith Bob practice, I am praising the Lord because I am submitting to the angelic advice for my daily associations and the magic of God has been shown to me now over, I can't even believe it, but it's eight years time. That openly because I started this practice in a period of loss that I have literally won so many experiences that are so profound and so magical, it's beyond even the ability to articulate them all. 